Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today's been the daily challenge for September 4th, 2022. The character at the Ironclad and the modifier star sealed deck craft a deck from 30 random cards. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose 1 max HP. Start each combat with 5 plated armor. Alright, sealed deck with Ironclad and time dilation. I see Vorpal here in second place, 1487. That's a really good score. It is pretty early in the day, but yeah, impressive. Let's review the scores from yesterday. I did not... Oh, Vorpal did make it to the top 20 with 1447. So Vorpal, uh, I really appreciate the comments yesterday. So there are different strategies on what to bottle. So if you remember, I had all three bottles yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure. I think one of them I got at a shop, but two of them were offered to me. So for example, Vorpal bottled the Master Reality, which was a smart choice given that uh, we all, I assume, had Neil Royce Index, uh, sorry, Neil Royce Codex, which means that every card that was generated by that would be would become upgradable or upgraded. Um, and then uh, he also upgraded or bottled the Scrawl, which allowed him to get a lot of um, a lot of cards on Act One or sorry on Turn One, and uh, that was useful because he did not go for Snake Eye, which might have been a good idea too because of Black Star um, probably gave him a bunch of extra fifty points from I like Shiny. All right, I wasn't too bad. I ended up being 29th at the end of the day, tied with Monkey Bone and Chef on the Cloud. The other person commented, "Deva." Um, so the bottle was Deva Form for Powers and Adrenaline. That is an unusual choice, but I see the value in it. So with uh, a bottle Deva Form and Adrenaline, you can basically generate almost infinite energy fairly quick and adrenaline allows you to you know not completely fail on turn one uh zola here with 1399 that's pretty good too and uh let me keep going oh monkey bone yeah i already mentioned that we're tied um and then uh, david mentioned that uh, he was able to get uh 1324 which is uh, yeah right here um he played really well george actually 1322 as well uh, David played really well. Also interesting, went for Runic Doom as well as Vorpal did, um, but then also went for a Sadistic Nature deck, which uh, would have worked yesterday, especially with Happy Done here, here, especially with the Silent with all the Poison cards. All right, yesterday was a fun run. Shiny runs are always a lot of fun. All right, let's move on to today's run. Seal deck runs are also really fun usually. Okay, so I, hmm, I will try to go for collector bonuses, and I see multiple shrug it offs. I am wondering if I can do something with Dropkick. Is there, other than the uppercut, is there some other way to apply vulnerability? Mm, that's unfortunate. I would... Actually, I guess I can take two uppercuts. That might be a little too much. Just because with the slow debuff, we would want to have more sort of card draws and energy generating cards, but I don't think I don't think I see any. I also see three Dark Embraces. Now, that's a little too much. Um, but a discard deck could work, especially with the Warcry and Feel No Pain. Yeah, lots of good options here. What about, I see one Perfected Strike. Um, is that literally the only Strike card? Yes, that is the only Strike card. That is impressive. All right, so a Strike deck is not going to work. What about Clash? So I saw... Oh, I thought I saw two Clashes. You could imagine a deck where you have Clash and you have Rage. And then you take the War Cries and do something like Near Infinite. Also with the Headbutt, three War Cries. Should I just do a fun run like that? Because I think that will be a lot of fun. It won't give me a high score, right? Because I won't get to 35 cards. Um, and actually, I think it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. So um, let, let's try that. So if I'm doing an infinite, I would want to get Rage, uh, probably all three War Cries, and I'll take a fourth one for a uh, collector bonus. And then the Clash. Headbutt is not a bad idea. Um, so next I should probably... Actually, there's nothing else that exhausts, right? Um, actually, Intimidate. Okay, that exhausts. And it's zero cost. Uh, and then what about one Dark Embrace at least? Uh, maybe an Armament? Or a Shrug It Off? Actually, a Shrug It Off would be a skill that might disrupt my Clash sort of infinite... Attempt to be infinite. What about um, a Feel No Pain here? Yeah, that's nine cards. If I truly want to do an infinite, I would take another Dark, Dark Embrace. And that would also... I'm not sure if I could go for a collector bonus on those, though. That might be too much. There's nothing better. Maybe the Iron Wave. Definitely not Reckless Charge. The Dace is going to mess me up. Um... Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, this is. I think this is just a fun run then. So I have two Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain. That should provide me some block. I have four zero-cost cards that exhaust. And then Clash, Headbutt, and Rage. So I think once I play all my powers, I should be able to create an infinite here. All right, so that does mean I have to be very careful with what cards I pick up. 
Um, all right, two lead path either on the left, which will give me three question marks if I start on the right and then turn left. Uh, four, four question marks total, or if I at this point turn right, I'll get an extra three question marks. Yeah, I think that's seven total. Start here, that's four, five, six, seven. Awesome. All right. Ooh, curses. I did not consider curses. Ah, that might be a problem with the clash, right? Well, let's see what I get. All right, so here I can just do Dark Embrace and Feel No Pain. And I don't think I'll even play any of the Warcrys because I'll be fully defended. Mm -hmm. Another five. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can get started here. Let me do Clash. Oh, never mind. Right, I have to do Dark Embrace first and Intimidate. All right. And then I can do Clash. Ugh, never mind. Okay, I have to play all my skills first. Okay, how did I want this to be infinite? I'll figure it out in a second. So, Warcry. Yeah, now I'm infinite, right? Um, yeah, because... Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on. I'm not going to be able to draw. Wait, I messed that up. I, I still need... Yeah, I need card draw after this, right? That's the big problem. So, Clash, Headbutt. And then, yeah, it doesn't matter what I put back. Okay, so now I have only three cards in my draw pile. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do, do still need maybe, maybe. Um, oh, rage, right? Uh, I still need a way to uh, maybe the card that exhausts cards and draws you extra cards. I forgot the name, but um, that that's probably what I need. Maybe true grit. No, 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 no. I have to be very selective, so I'm not going to pick anything here. Okay. Remove a card or gain gold. No, I think I can gain gold. I'm happy with the cards I have. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so 11 incoming. Yeah, this is slightly more problematic. So if I do... Actually, let me do Feel No Pain. F no, hmm. Let's do Feel No Pain first, then Intimidate, then War Cry. Actually, that should allow me to be fully defended. And then I can do Dark Embrace and just wait. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here I'll do another Dark Embrace, then a War Cry 1. Yeah, I guess runtime-wise this will take forever too, right? Because I'm playing a lot of cards. Another war crime. Okay, so I don't need the rage. I can do clash. Uh, never mind. Clash first, then headbutt, and then I should be able to kill with the clash next turn. Unseason top would be great here. I mean, unseason top would allow me to basically kill everything on turn one. Come. Yeah, this is going to take me a long time, though, I think. We got Blessing of the Forge. Battle Trance is a draw card. Let's take it. Oh, but it's also skill, so I would have to play it. No, no, I think I'll skip it. Um, all right, I don't think I need a shop here. Let's do a question mark room. Yep, a war cry and dark embrace upgrade. The dark embrace upgrade is really nice, makes it easier to play. This is the problem, right? A regret might ruin this whole thing. So yeah, I think just for the fun, I uh, well, just for the fact that I'm doing a fun run, I'm not gonna take the curse here. Although next extra relic would have been nice. All right, let's play everything here. I'll do actually, yeah, never mind. I can't play the clash until I after I played the war crime. So let's do Clash here, that kills you, and then Headbutt kills you, okay. All right, Shrug it off, Pummel Strike, Flex. Uh, Flex might work, I really desperately need draw. We got Omori, Negate, next to Curse to obtain. I mean, if I'm going for a Curseless run, why not? All right, got the Sentries, they don't have the slow debuff. Um, I can weaken, uh, let me do Flex first. Then Dark Embrace, I sort of have to do it, then Intimidate. Okay. Uh, okay, Rage is perfect here, because then I'm fully defended. Let's do Clash and Headbutt the Clash. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the Dace might be a problem. I did not consider those. Um, all right, let's do another Dark Embrace and then do the War Cries. Uh, uh, feel No Pain is good. Let's do Feel No Pain. Mm, yeah, that was a problem I didn't account for. Now, the Dace will... Um, the days will exhaust and give me block that way. Yeah, let's get rid of the clash and then do headbutt. That's not enough to kill. So four of them will exhaust, which means I'll be fully defended. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm still going to draw the other days, right? Because my hand is full. All right. Wait, did I take, I did, did I take damage? Um, I didn't, right? No, I had, I had enough block. All right. Uh, let's do flex, rage, headbutt. And, um, yeah, let's kill this guy. Okay, I'll speed this up because I think it's boring and I am able to fully defend. I 
All right, that took a while. Was able to finally kill and perfect. We got Malbank. One of you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop, as well as a duplication potion and definitely not evolve, right? Vault Strike, a headbutt, another headbutt. I could try to go for a collector bonus for that, sure. Yeah. We got Strike Dummy. Cards containing Strike deal three additional damage. That is not going to happen here. And then just a regular fight in this question mark room. Uh, let's do Feel No Pain, Dark Embrace, or just a Headbutt. Let's do Rage Flex. And I guess I can do Headbutt here. Okay. I will take a little bit of damage, but I think I should be fine. Mm -hmm. And then 16, Upgraded Dark Embrace, Rage Intimidate, and then play the Warcry. Yeah, the problem is I'm going to have trouble... Um, Doing this in less than 45 minutes because every turn does take a little longer than I'd like. Let's do Rage, uh, Warcry again. All right, and then I'll do... I have to play the Slime first, then I can do Clash 25. That's almost enough to kill. Yeah, sure. And then Headbutt. Okay. And then any attack will kill next turn. Probably the Headbutt to make my life easier. There it is. Okay. All right, headbutt, clothesline, shrug it off. A third headbutt. Is that too much? Um, might be a little too much, but let's take it. Yeah, fine. I, I should try to, you know, think about the score a little bit at least. All right, leg of Ulin. So here I want to play all my powers and probably exhaust all my um, skills and then and then do a true infinite. Yeah, so my first turn will be a little bit of setup. Okay. And then I still have uh, two powers that I'll play next turn. So Dark Embrace and Feel No Pain. Okay, and now I think I'm ready to do the inf... Uh, well, it's not infinite, right? But it's, you know, near infinite. Um, is there anything? Wait, what's the other card? Oh, oh, right, because I have three headbutts now. Uh, yeah, I don't think that will hurt me still. Okay. So the plan is to do Flex Rage, then Clash, Headbutt, um, the Clash back, and then Headbutt again. Okay. And then I'll draw all but one. So, yeah, as, soon as, as long as I have Rage, I should be fine, right? Because that's going to be 12 plus... No, that's only 17. Uh-oh. Did I mess up? Yeah, I messed up. I would have to duplicate... I think I messed up. I would have to do... Because I only have 17. There's nothing I can do, right? I would have to duplicate the Rage to be fully defended. Ah, that's dumb. I mean, I can reload and you know what? Oh, since I'm playing for fun, let me reload because I, I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not going to get a good score. So let me reload, uh, duplicate the um, the rage. And really, the key is I have to get that rage upgrade as soon as I can. So let me speed this up. I'll be right back with uh, a perfect on this one. Actually, I didn't even need to use the duplication potion because all I had to do was to basically have one turn where I play all my war cries, get the slow debuff upgraded um, as I am playing it, and now I can kill without having to use the duplication potion. All right, so I was able to perfect this up on the reload. We got white beast statue potion, so put, always appear in combat rewards. And second wind is an interesting defensive card. It might help me against enemies that put statuses or um, curses or other stuff in my deck let me take that just just to have i mean my deck is getting a little too full for uh trying to get a near infinite but i think i think that one is useful so let's do feel no pain intimidate war crime all right i can do another war crime and um here i'll do just headbutt to kill you okay And then six incoming. I can do Rage, Flex, War Crime. Still haven't played a single Dark Embrace. That's kind of strange. Well, and of course, I get two immediately. Uh, let's just play both. Okay. And then here I can do Rage. Um, when we're going to draw nothing, right? Yeah, let's do... I have to do Second Wind. And then Clash is only 12. Uh, let's do Headbutt. The rage and then do clash that's 13 now and then another headbutt still not quite enough to kill okay yeah i think the key for my infinite draw is to keep the war cries for longer i think that's that's what i'm gonna try to do i don't think we need another blood potion and i don't think i'll take any of these okay um since i am not going for curses let's take the extra relic instead all right it's not a bad relic being less vulnerable uh, let's do Rage, Dark Embrace, then uh, Clash, uh, which one? 16, 
I could clash kill 26. Yeah, I can kill one of them, right? Let's do headbutt and then clash. All right. And then here I'll do feel no pain, flex, rage, war crime. And then I'll do another war crime. Oh, actually, well, yeah. And then I'll do intimidate and headbutt. One more war cry, sure. Uh, I will get rid of the Darkroom Base. Uh, sorry, the second wind. Do I want Darkroom Base? Probably not. This is 18 already. All right. So let's do second wind and headbutt. Another second one. All right, that's not exactly what I wanted. A lot of block, though. Maybe the body slam wasn't a bad idea. All right, rage, flex, and then clash kills. Uh, hang on, headbutt kills you. And clash, and another headbutt kill you. Good. Okay, we've got Odd Mushroom. Uh, when vulnerable, takes 25% more attack damage rather than 50, as well as a fear in the bottle, which I don't think I'll need. And another battle chance? No, no, I don't think I'll take any of these. Uh, yes, let's definitely lose HP to get. Oh, that's a lot of HP. We got oddly smooth stone. Surge come with one dexterity. I that's not gonna affect. Well, actually, the second wind will affect the second wind. I definitely need to upgrade the rage. Yeah, I think that was pretty obvious. And then maybe the clash next. Okay. Guardian. Um, all right, let's set up our powers here. Feel no pain and dark embrace. Okay. Now I need to be able to deal 39 damage next turn, which I feel like I should be able to. Right? Let's do intimidate. Then War Crime. Yeah, I'll get a good slow debuff going here too. Dark Embrace. Another War Crime. Alright. And then I have to do one more War Crime. Another Flex is good too. Okay. Alright, let's do Rage. Okay, how much is the Clash now? 27. Not quite enough. Um, but I can do Second Wind and Clash. And then Headbutt. Okay. Oh, I... I completely forgot about the fact that I'd need traditional block cards to defend against the um, the Guardian. And I don't have many. Yeah, second win is not going to help me here. Uh, what do I do? Oh, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I needed the Rage. Actually, at least having the Rage would have helped. Is there something else? Can I exhaust something that would guarantee... Yeah, I have too many headbutts. That's a problem. Even if I exhaust the flex, I can't guarantee drawing it. Let me reload and see if there's anything I can do differently. I'm trying to think. I just need I just need card draw. Burning pack, that's the card I really need. Is there something else I can do here that might change the outcome? So what about if I do rage flex? I do feel like I need maybe I don't need feel no pain that badly. Let's do dark embrace and then headbutt. Okay. So I don't need feel no pain right now, because I'm pretty much done exhausting cards very quickly. And then here, let's do Rage, Intimidate. Is there a way I can keep some of my cards uh, and not exhaust them? Like if I do a Headbutt here and Headbutt another Headbutt. And do something like uh, War Crime. Put this back, play the Dark Embrace, then another Headbutt. Yeah, that is enough. And then I'll get the Rage back. Let's see if this does anything. Okay, nine incoming. So I can gain, gain some block with the Warcry. That's good. Let's do Rage, Flex, Warcry. Okay. And then I can get rid of the Headbutt. So that gives me... Oh, I didn't play the... Um, I don't have the Feel No Pain out yet. All right, hang on. So I do have the Rage... So I think if I do second wind, just so I can play clash. All right, then headbutt. Um, let's do the, I guess, clash. And then, so I have nine now. Yeah, I can do another headbutt. What do I do next turn? That might be the problem. Because I don't have anything that exhausts. So let's put the second wind back. I'll exhaust the feel no pain because I, I don't need it anymore. Mm hmm. Well, let's try this. Uh, so if I do Rage... Actually, the second one will exhaust the Field of Pain. Right? Well, let's do Rage first. And then I can Headbutt the Rage. That might help. Okay. And then I'll second wind the Field of Pain. Sure, that draws me cards. Um, and then do Rage, Flex, and then Clash. Okay, yeah, that is actually enough. All right. 
Okay, another 20. Can I deal... Can I deal enough damage in the meantime? Let's do Clash, Headbutt, just play all my attacks. Yes, I can. I can. Good. But now I will need Block next turn. That might be a problem. Probably didn't have to play that last Headbutt. I do have Rage. Should I do Second Wind? Um, no, no, no. I can just do uh, Flex, Second Wind. I can just play everything here. And I'm still fully defended. Uh, let's definitely get a Rage back. Okay. Ooh, this is close. Um, wait, if I do second win, no, it's not, no, it'll give me 12 plus 5, which is 7. I might have to do that, because I don't think, hang on, if I do rage, uh, then I'll just get 10 block minus 6, so 4, plus 5 is 9. That's not enough. So, so yeah, just playing the rage and the attacks alone is not enough. So the only way to fully defend is to do the second win here. And then, can I even play an attack? 17? No, I can't. Right, because I don't have a rage active. Okay, so I finish my turn here. And then basically, I need to kill here, because I can't defend. Um, so let's do second wind. Uh, hang on. So clash is 15. Another, let's say, about 30. That's 45. I think that should be enough, right? 10. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely enough. Okay, good. That was close, but it's... Well, I forgot about the fact that second wind cost energy. Okay, again, again, this is just a fun run. I'm going to reload again because uh, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so I was able to perfect this one. So I drank the, um, uh, what is it, the upgrade potion. And so, because I needed to do that at the end anyway. And so I figured I'll do it early. That made the clash stronger and that just generally allowed me. I think I finished the turn that I would have lost my perfect before. So anyway, we got an Entropic Brew, Limit Break, Corruption, Exhume. Limit Break, I mean, if I had Strength, is not a bad idea because it exhausts. Corruption is interesting. Ooh, if I take Corruption, I could take basically as many skills as I would like. That might make this no no or should i go for popper you know what this deck works it works by itself so yeah let's just skip this one um all right sneko eye is going to be the death of me so i can't take it not in this type of deck uh marker pain probably not either i don't want astrolabe either actually should i just skip all of these yeah yeah let's just skip this one i mean this deck works uh, it just takes a little longer but it does work yeah 18 minutes for act one that is that is a lot all right, three lead path if I go in the middle with one, two, th oh, wait, just one question mark? No, two question marks. Still, well, at least I have a lead shop. A little disappointing, though. Okay. Let's see how this deck works in Act 2. All right, let's do Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain. Yeah, Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, and then Intimidate Warcry. That should allow me to be fully defended, especially if I do something like another war crime. And then I can't play the Clash yet. I'll have to wait. Okay. Yeah, I still need Burning Pact is really the card that I need. That would allow me to draw things and get rid of things I don't want. Uh, get rid of this, do Dark Embrace. And then Second Wind as well as Headbutt. I am actually going to take some damage here. All right. No, never mind. Never mind. I'm not. Okay, 10 incoming. Let's do Flex, Rage, Second Wind. And then Clash, Headbutt. The clash. Well, either the burning pact or an unseason top that would make this a uh, really interesting deck. But let's let's hope for either of those. All right, clash headbutt, and another headbutt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the problem is like if if I get attacked for more than twenty or so, which is how much block I can come up with, then I might have trouble. But so far, this is going well. All right. We got an elixir potion, which might not be a bad idea. Let's get rid of the blood potion. So the elixir might allow me to get rid of some curses or um, statuses that get put into my deck. Uh, I, I'm okay with another intimidate, sure. All right, got the Sphere Guardian. Let's do Dark Embrace, Rage, Flex, and War Crime. All right, this is fine, and I can do Clash and Headbutt. Okay. Ending coming. Let's do another Dark Embrace. I can play the Intimidates. And then do... Um, I could just do second. You know what? Let's do second wind. I'll make my life easier. Alright. 
and then here yeah, flex rage and uh, I have to do war crime another flex and another okay this takes me a long time but I finally am able to play the clash here can't even benefit from the slow debuff but I was able to come with a lot of block 20 incoming uh, I'm gonna do rage second wind okay and then clash headbutt one and headbutt two Okay, and then I should be able to... Uh, never mind, I'm fully defended, and then I should be able to kill this turn. Probably with just a headbutt. All right. Got a Gambler's Brew, which might be okay. Rupture armaments are in flame. I... In flame might be tempting. All right, let's take it in flame. Okay. All right, Centurion Mystic. Uh, I have 12 incoming, and I don't think there's much I can do about that. Uh, there's actually nothing I can do about that. All right, yeah, just taking the damage there. Most of it, at least. Okay. I'm not sure why I attacked the back line. I should have probably attacked the Centurion here. All right, now I'm not getting attacked. Let's do Inflame, Intimidate, uh, War Crime. All right, and then I can do Flex, Dark Embrace, and Clash. Okay. All right, I decided to speed that up because it was getting sort of repetitive. I was doing the same things over and over. I'm not sure if I should take a second Inflame, but let's risk it. Yeah, could get a collector bonus from that too. All right, Cultist and Chosen. Um, all right, so here I'm starting off with the Inflame, then Intimidate. I don't have the Dark Embrace yet. All right, so let's do the Upgraded War Crime. And, okay, there's a Dark Embrace. Not going to help me defend this turn, though. Unless, no, there's nothing I can get, right? Yeah, this is fine. I'll take one damage. Six incoming. Let's do Feel No Pain, Dark Embrace, Intimidate. All right. And then I can do Rage... Clash, headbutt, and probably headbutt the clash. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I will get a dazed here, right? That might be a problem. Let's do inflame. Kind of thinking of doing second wind. Let's do that. Also gives me a bunch of card draw. Another rage, and then headbutt kills this guy. And I can clash and no headbutt for the backliner, but. Now I think I'm in good position. At least, oh, I don't have... No, I do have the uh, Feel No Pain as well. So the days will give me 12 block plus another 4 is 16. Plus another 5 is 21. So again, I'm almost fully defended. Okay. 18. How did I miscalculate that? I must have messed something up there. Uh, so here I'll do second win. I'm not... I'm even going to get rid of the Rage. All right, have to do second win one more time. And then a third time... Oh, no, I can't. Okay, fine. Let's just do headbutt instead. Because every time I would play the second wind, I would get a daze and it'll be a loop. Yeah. 21. So here I'll do second wind. And then I can do clash headbutts. Another headbutt. Unfortunately, not quite enough to kill, but I should be able to kill next turn with a headbutt. All right. Okay, got a fear potion, which I don't think I'll take. Yeah, there's an upgraded headbutt as much as I don't like it. And definitely not going to lose 600 gold. Instead, I think I should have not too much difficulty here. Let's do Dark Embrace War Crime. All right, Intimidate is fine. Let's do that. Another War Crime. Inflame is interesting. I can do another inf Intimidate for sure. Uh, yeah, let me do the Inflame, I think. Or another War and uh, Dark Embrace. No, let's do the Inflame. Okay. All right, definitely losing decks here, but it's not like I really rely on decks. Let's do Feel No Pain, Inflame, Flex. Actually, this turn I am taking a little bit of damage. 23, yeah, fine. All right. I haven't drawn the Clash yet, that's a problem. I was sort of hoping to get more Clashes, actually. All right, so here I can do Flex, Rage, Second Wind. And then I'll do 19. Yeah, Headbutt kills this one. And then I can clash you. Yeah, honestly, really thought I would be able to do better here. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble. Dark Embrace, Rage, and then the Headbutt. I think I think it's just having too many Headbutts. I think that might be the problem. Yeah, because now I can't really... I mean, the problem... I still have the problem as I had at the beginning. I don't have enough card draw. All right, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. That actually was that that was already it. We got red mask at the savage combat to play one weak to all enemies, as well as a power push, which I don't think I'll take. And 
another Fionopine, another Rage. Another Rage must be fine. I mean, I'm taking things as if I had lots of card draw. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is unfortunate. There's nothing I can do to fully defend here. Unless, is there anything I can drink? Let's do the Intimidates. Oh, they're already weakened. So that's not a big deal. Um, let me... I think I can really duplicate 18. I mean, I'm not dead. I'm just taking a lot of damage that I would like to avoid. Is there anything I can do? I mean, I, I should try it, I guess. Although I do have another elite coming up very shortly. Yeah, let's give it a try. Let me get rid of all of these. And then I'll drink the duplication potion, drink the entropic brew. I needed card draw. That's a bummer. Can't even kill anything. All right, yeah. Well, it was it was worth the risk. I, w I was hoping to get like an attack potion or something. And yeah, I, I lost the effect of the duplication potion. That was definitely definitely not a great play there. Um, so I'll do one rage, then second win. That should allow me to draw a few cards. Warcry is good. I can do another Warcry. All right. And then Headbutt. 13. Um, I'm a little in trouble here, so I'm going to use both attack push, uh, both fire potions. Okay. Yeah, that was a bummer. I'm very low in HP, and I still have to fight another elite after this. In the pain, rage, war crime. Okay. And then I'll have to play the dark embrace so I can do the clash. Mm -hmm. At least I'm fully defended here. And rage headbutt one. Um, I'll probably put a Rage back. Oh, the wounds. I completely forgot the wounds. Yeah, that's why I needed the um, Elixir for, and I sort of wasted it. Uh-oh. I probably should have attacked the Taskmaster, and I think about it. Luckily, I have second wind here, but that's not going to help me every turn. Let me do second wind, and then I'll do headbutt the second wind back, because I think that's the, that's the key to surviving this one. Okay. Yeah, because I can't play the Clash, so it has to be just my headbutts. All right, um, let's do Rage, Second Wind. Mm -hmm. At least the Second Wind does also guarantee enough card draw. But let's do one more headbutt. Okay, I, I think I should be fine. As long as the Second Wind does allow me to exhaust things, I should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too bad I'm not drawing the um, Clash when I don't have any wounds, but... Yeah, at least I'm also be able to come up with enough block every turn, so it's a second win again. And now I can actually no, never mind. I thought I can do clash. All right. Didn't perfect this one, but I, I got I got if you end your turn without blocking six block, as well as a block potion. And yeah, I already have enough headbutts, no more. Fiendfire would be interesting, but I am trying to go for popper. Alright, cultist, dark embrace, intimidate, and flame. And then war cry, see what that gives me. Um, yeah, I can do another Intimidate. And, yeah, Clash. Perfect. Alright. 8 hmm. incoming. Let's do... Who's my final boss, by the way? Uh, Guardian. Okay, so I don't get any cards added to my deck. Uh, I could just do Feel No Pain, right? Uh, sorry, Second Wind, I mean. Yeah, let's do Second Wind. Get rid of some cards and powers I don't really need. Double up on the Rage, then do War Cry. All right, and then I'll do Flex and Clash is 27. I Let's kill somebody else or attack somebody else because I am fully defended this turn. Hmm. All right, so Rage and Flame. I can do the unupgraded Headbutt on this one, then Clash... 23 is not enough. Would that be, hang on, another 10% would be another 2, so 25. That's not enough. So I think I have to do both Headbutt and the Clash. Okay. Mm, last turn of weakness. I have to be a little more careful. Let's do second wind here. Draw the Clash. I was hoping to draw the Clash. Oh, never mind. Clash is my draw pile. Or discard pile, I guess. Okay. And then one more Headbutt. I should be able to finish this fight. All right. Another duplication push, that's good. I don't think... Mm, Alright, fine, let's take the Inflame. I am... As much as I don't want to maximize the score, I am taking cards that would allow me to get the collective bonus. Alright, Feel No Pain, Opening Hand is really good. Let's do Warcry 1. Warcry... Oh, Intimidate. Never mind, I'm not drawing extra cards. I thought I had the Dark Room Base already, already. 
Um, since I have energy, let's do inflame and nothing else. Keep the other warfare for later. 12 incoming. So here... Oh, is there nothing I can do? Well, the second one will exhaust something. That'll be 11. Uh, the Rokakum also gives me 11, so that's not going to help. I might have to use the potion here. I don't think there's a choice. All right. And then I can just do the headbutts. All right. Next turn and a half. What is it? 15? Mm-hmm. My mistake might have been uh, headbutting things. That might have been a big mistake, actually. Yeah, and now I'm getting the Dark Embrace too late. That's a bummer. So knowing that, I'm going to second wind. Uh, headbutt a second wind, actually. And then I guess a flex. All right. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right. Wasn't able to perfect this one either. Um, let's do Dark Embrace and then second wind. That should give me a lot of card draw. Sorry about that. A lot of background noise here. All right. Um, yeah, let's end turn here. Okay. 30. Okay, I have to start slowly killing. Uh, let's do Clash, Headbutt, Headbutt, and another Headbutt. Oh, uh, am I dead here? No, but I'm barely alive. Okay. Oh, I don't think my deck is working out as great as I thought it would. Um, let's do... Oh, hang on. Now I'm dead, I think, right? 17. Let's do Rage. Is this 18? Yes, good. Phew. Okay, that was close. That's Strawberry. I've been pick up Race from Extra by 7 and a Dex Potion as well as... I will have to... Actually, this would have been... No, I don't have any card draw, so Rampage is not going to be that great either. We got Turn like Fish. Whenever you add a card to deck, gain 9 gold. That's uh, not super applicable here. And then for one more... Actually, I can go left and get two more question mark rooms. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. Let's do that. Centurion one more time. Um, I could do Dark Race Second Wind. That'll draw me a bunch of cards. And then um, I will also be fully defended, which is good. Let me see if I can get... Yeah, let's play in Flame. And um, nothing else, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, 20. I can do in Flame, Intimidate, Rage. Okay. Down to 15. Another... Wait, why were there two Rages? Did I pick up two Rages? I did, I did. For a second, I was confused there. Uh, so then headbutt, probably an intimidate back, and then one more headbutt for something like rage. Okay. Hmm. All right, not getting attacked here. I can do feel no pain in flame, a rage, and then intimidate. And I can headbutt something like uh, another headbutt, and then clash to kill. Yep. The back line, I think, is likely to attack. Yeah, because... All right, let's do Rage, Flex, Clash. And then Headbutt for a kill. Good. Got a Fire Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Body Sun, Pommel Strike, Havoc. No, none of them fit this deck. Give me... Uh, no, no card draw. That's a really a bummer. Um, Should I take Orange Pellets? Or a Red Skull? It would trigger now. Not a bad idea. Actually, I can, I can afford everything, right? Let's take Happy Power. Every three turns, get extra energy. A Red Skull, while your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. And Orange Pellets, whenever you play a power, attack, and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. I am considering the Metallic Size. Sword A to Z. Is there anything I want to remove? I kind of feel like the Headbutts are uh, slowing me down quite a bit. But no, for the Collector Bonus, I should keep them. Let's take the Metallic Size. Why not? Gives me a tiny bit extra block. Oh, uh, I don't think I need any of the Potions. And I can't do the curse, right? So I'll gain the max HP and lose the actual HP. That will also make it easier to trigger the Red Skull. Okay. Um, this is too risky. Actually, I have a Mori. I could have gotten the curse before. I didn't get a curse now, but I got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Okay. All right, Slavers again. I am starting off with a slightly better hand, although that's not going to save me in any way. So I have to defend against 19. Although with our Kalkum, I have 11. So I'm at least I'm not dead. Yeah, so I think I'll I'll just do Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, and Flame. And then I'll just do a nice Clash. That's only 24 damage. Fine. All right. Not dead, but also definitely not perfecting. Mm -hmm. Actually kind of close to death. I have to be careful. Um, so here I want to do uh, Metallicize. 
and flex and i kind of want to do intimidate as well uh, not intimidate the inflame but no let's do intimidate instead and then i'll do second wind after the rage okay so that should draw me a lot of cards and it only gets rid of cards i'm not super needed and then headbutt i can only kill with one headbutt huh uh, let's still do that. Let's headbutt, and then I'll bring a flex back. Okay, that got rid of my debuffs too, which is nice. Primarily that turns into, into extra strength. Alright, I am vulnerable. Do I still have a power left? I don't think I do. So let's do rage, flex, then a war crime. Ooh, that is, well, I guess I don't have a... Wait, hang on. Can I do anything? I have, uh, what is that, 710 right now. I'm getting attacked for 17. Uh, is there anything I can do? Hang on. If I double play this, I could kill one of them. All right, yeah, I think I have to use the duplication potion. I'll play the headbutt. Mm -hmm. And then I also kill the backliner. All right, yeah, I think if I hadn't killed the frontliner, I would have been dead this turn. And now I don't need to defend at all. So, uh, well, I can. Let's do the clash, and then headbutt one, and another headbutt for a kill. Good. Uh, all right, we got Pentograph at the Sour Boss Combat Seal 25 HP. That's problematic with the Red Skull, but okay. We got a Liquid Memories Potion, and Sentinel would be great if I can exhaust it, but I, oh, I can exhaust it sometimes. Let's take it. It's also a traditional defensive card, which I don't have any of right now. All right, uh, next upgrade should be the Metal Size, I think. All right, champ. So I am uh, slightly above uh, half uh, half HP, which means I don't have extra strength. Uh, I am starting off with Dark Embrace and Flame. Let's do that, and then I'll just do a headbutt. Okay. All right, 18. Um, well, let's see what the Warcry Intimidate give me. All right, I can do... Is there anything I need to headbutt? Uh, yes, let's headbutt a Warcry. And then Intimidate. Draw that Warcry... And I'll keep... Actually, well... I'm afraid I'm going to take damage, right? There's nothing I can do. I don't have the Metallicizer right yet. Yeah, that's a bummer. Not much I can do about that, though. Let's do the Tomb Flames. Okay. So I'll take 2 HP. At least I'll drop to um, less than half max HP. So less than or equal to. So the Red Skull will trigger. But yeah, wasn't able to protect this one. Let's do Metallicize. Rage... I could do Sentinel, right? Or um, Second Wind, it would exhaust the Sentinel. It would give me energy back. Not that I necessarily need energy, but, I mean, it's not going to hurt, I think. All right, I can do Flex and then Second Wind. Okay. Ooh, I might have considered keeping the other... Um, what do you call it? The other Dark Embrace. But I think that should be fine. Okay. Hmm. So this turn I'm getting a bunch of debuffs. Let's do Clash and just play all the attacks. Uh, I probably will get, yeah, Clash back. Headbutt. Another headbutt. Okay. Alright, so now he's transforming. Alright. So I'll do Rage, Clash again. Headbutt again. One more headbutt. Okay. This might actually work. Because I only need to deal 41 damage. Seems very doable. I got the second win, though. Um, no, I think I still have enough, right? So if I do second win, then clash. And then headbutt. And then one more headbutt. Okay. All right. Was able to... Oh, actually, no, never mind. I wasn't able to perfect because of those two HP I lost early on. That's a bummer. We got liquid bronze, gain three thorns, which I don't think I'll need. And yeah, I'll go for popper. Continue to go for popper. I'll probably can go for the sacred bark. I would like to, like to upgrade more cards. Probably don't need Runakubi. Let's go with the Sacred Bark, double the effect, and this of potions. Come. All right. Uh, of course, I had to have the Time Eater. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with the Time Eater. That might be a problem. So the, the only two lead path is on the right side. Again, I have an early shop, and between going left here and going right here, going left is better because there's an extra crush mark room, but oof, this might be rough. Well, let's get through the end. All right. So feel the pain, rage. I can do headbutt, okay. and then the upgrade to work right first, and I am not drawing anything, so I can wait. Okay. 
Another 13. Uh, definitely Dark Embrace and Metallicize with the Oricalcum that does allow me to be fully defended. Oh, I had extra energy. I probably should have done something with it. All right, and then here... I think I'll just do the Inflames. And then again, I think I'll rely on the Oricalcum. Maybe... Actually, Sentinel is the same as Oricalcum, so that doesn't seem necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here let's do Dark Embrace, a Rage, a Flex, and then a Second Wind. Maybe I should do Intimidate. Alright, fine. Let's do one Intimidate, then Second Wind. Oh, I uh, lost two Rages there. That was somewhat of an accident. And, okay, well... Now I can't play the Clash anymore, which is sort of the whole point of this exercise. I guess I'll have to do Headbutts. Alright. 16. Um, let's do second wind here. Although I'm going to draw a bunch of the burns now, right? Yeah, fine. Let's do flex. And then, yeah, headbutts, I guess, I guess is what's saving me here. Okay, attack potion. Probably better than the dex potion since I barely have any block. True grid metallicize havoc. Let's take another metallicize. Okay. A red mask. All right. Gives me a bunch of gold. Handy because I have a shop coming up. And then, uh, yeah, I don't get the curse here, but I do get the warp tongues at the start of your turn. Upgrade random card in your hand for rest of combat. How many curses? Um, so I missed, I skipped two and I just missed one. And then there's a fourth one here. And the fifth one was random and I didn't get a curse there. So right now I would have had four curses if I was going for curses. All right. Um, no, no, no. Still no. Uh, not the card that I was looking for. Another flex is probably too much. Should I do True Grit with Dark Embrace? It would allow me to get rid of uh, Headbutts. I would need to get it upgraded, though. Let's take it. Another Metal Sess for a Collective Bonus, possibly. And then, in terms of the Relics, I wonder... Wait, is there... There was a Late Shop here, right? So, I don't have to buy everything. I'm not a huge fan of these Relics. Yeah, I don't think maybe the Torinathopter, one of you use a potion heal 5 HP just in case there's an emergency and I'm about to die. So, all right. Yeah, maybe I should have taken a trigger earlier. That might have helped, actually. It doesn't generate energy, but it does allow me to draw more cards. So let's do Dark Embrace, Metallicize, another Metallicize with the... Um, our Kalkum is enough to be fully defended. Hmm. All right, that's a bunch incoming. Let's do one more Metallicize and Flame... Then a war cry. I'm not sure if the inflame was necessary. Then I can do rage. And um Well actually if I don't play an attack, I'll gain uh what is that? 16. Oh well it's not enough because I have 32 incoming. Uh alright, fine. I mean a headbutt only does 21 damage. Yeah, fine, let's do true grit, get rid of one of the headbutts. Uh, I'm not sure if I need the war cry. Yeah, too bad I can't play the feel no pain. Alright. All right, another Dark Embrace, Flex, Intimidate. Then in full, uh, another Rage, Intimidate again. And then I think, I'm not sure if I need this many Inflames. Okay, let's do one more Flex, because I should be able to get rid of my debuff, so I should keep that strength permanently. Uh, but I think I'll do the second win first. Okay. All right, and then Feel No Pain, more, more Rages. Now, I need this trigger not to hit my Clash. That is very important. And it didn't. Good. But it did draw me a bunch of other junk I can't play. All right, fine. Can I... When can I upgrade the True Grid? Yeah, I might actually go for the rest side just to get that True Grid upgraded. Because without it, without the upgrade, I'm, I'm really worried. Oh, okay. Or I wait for the Warp Tongues to upgrade it. Uh, all right, let's upgrade the... Or get rid of the Headbutt. All right, and then I'll play the Rages. I don't want to lose them. Second win to draw. Alright, and then I can do Sentinel Clash. And, oh, no energy for the headbutt, fine. I'll speed this up, I'll be right back, I think I'm in a good spot. Oh, wow, that took me a while, too. Got a Blood Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Dual Wield is interesting. Dual Wield might allow me to duplicate the Clash. That is very tempting. Doesn't really fit this deck, but let's take it. It's also pre-upgraded handling. All right, Reptomancer. Um, 12 incoming. So if I play the Metallicizes and the Feel No Pain, I think that should be a good start. 
Although not having dealt, not having killed any of the minions might be a problem. Okay, they all are attacking me. I don't have any card draw. That might be a problem. Let's see what the war cry gives me. Um, none of these will help. Let's try another war cry. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Can I headbutt something back? No, I am in trouble here. Is there anything? Let me see what the attack potion gives me. Sword Boomerang, Clash, or Blood for Blood. Yeah, let's take the free Blood for Blood. That will kill um, almost one of them. Let's do Rage. I could do Inflame 2, right? Then War Crime. Mm -hmm. And again, I guess I could headbutt the Rage, but I can't, I can't draw anything. All right, at least I can kill some of the minions now. Let's kill you and you. And then Headbutt... Uh, you as well. Good. I'll take a Rage back and then... Uh, oh, I can fully defend with True Grid. Okay, that was lucky. I did not expect that I'll be able to fully defend. Um, I forget how much uh, block I can come up with. Um, Alright, let's do... I don't think I'll deal with the Dark Embrace. That's a little too much. Uh, let's do Dark Embrace and then ra uh, Intimidate. Hope I can draw the Clash. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Awesome. And then, see, this is... Ideally, I would have gotten Clash or Burning Pact and that would have allowed me to to have much more fun turns, but I'm not sure why I put back the dual wheel there. All right, 18. Um, let me do... Can't draw anything either again. Um, what do I do here? Can I kill the backliner somehow? So if I do metallicize, headbutt is not going to be enough. Let's do flex... I can duel with the metallicize, then play two. That'll be, uh, what is that, another eight? 16 plus five is 23. Now, that's not quite enough. I could use the liquid memories, but I would like to avoid that if I can. What I, what would I even get back? A clash, right? No, I have Dark Embrace, so I can't take a clash back. What would that be then? Another headbutt? Um, all right, let's do... I think I'll duel with the metallicize. Do flex. Now, headbutt is only 16. With a flex push, it might be enough. If I just keep the Oracalcum. So, this is 17. Yeah, that would be enough with the Oracalcum. So, uh, just to kill the backliner. Flex push enough? Yeah, 31. Definitely enough. And then I'll bring back a... Well, not a dual wield. Um, let's bring... Yeah, Clash is fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 30. Uh, second win would give me energy back. Not that it really helps me. Let's headbutt the dual wield. And then I can do second win. That'll give me energy. Again, I don't really need the energy, but it does allow me to do inflame, dual wield, the clash, and then play those. All right, awesome. Perfect. Then we've got anchor. So I just come with 10 block and a still chaos potion. And yeah, finally, an actual clash I can take. Sever Soul is also good, but let's go with the clash. And then, yeah, I need to upgrade this. No, 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 no. That is the wrong button to click. Wow. I just completely went on autopilot there. I don't want to rest at all. I, I'm actually at full HP. So, yeah, I wanted to upgrade these uh, True Grid. Yeah, because unupgraded, it's actually, it could mess up my run significantly. All right, yeah, and this could have been my fifth curse. So, it is definitely possible to go for five curses. And I, I mean, I played for fun. There's definitely... Yeah, I, I could have tried to go for uh, like a real run with like a good score and I probably would have been able to get the curse modifier too. Um, here I'm gonna, I think, dual wield the metal says again. I can only play two of them, which means I will take a little bit of damage, but that's uh, 14, 19. Yeah, almost fully defended. Let me see what the war card gives me. Yeah, I don't think, oh, I, I can't, I mean, minus small doesn't hurt me. Oh, wait, I messed up. Why did I get blocked? Oh, because I feel no pain. Yeah, that was, that was a mistake. Let's do a Rage, Intimidate. Actually, let's do another metal size, then Intimidate. And I'll do War Crime. Uh, Dark Embrace, finally. All right. And Inflame. And I think that's it. I don't think I'll risk Headbutt. Okay. Not yet, at least. Another 18. Um, another Dark Embrace? That may be too much. I mean, I have to play it if I want to play the Clash. And I am not sure yet if I want to play the Clash. Uh, let's do another Dark Embrace and Metallicize. That should allow me to be fully defended. 26 block each turn without doing anything. That's kind of awesome. All right. Let's do Flex and Flame. And again, I'll wait. I'm waiting for, like, Dual Wield and Clash to be in the same hand. Okay. 
And here I'll do metallicize and wait again. Okay, I was going to speed this up, but yeah, I finally got dual wield and clash. So I have four clashes in my hand. Let's do rage, second wind. All right, and then I can do clash one, clash two, clash three. And if it's not the curse, actually, I have headbutt two. Yeah, so let's do clash four. And yeah, this is good. Dealt a lot of damage there. And here I also need to deal damage. Let me get rid of the Sentinel. And then I can do a Rage Flex Clash again. Headbutt. And this kills. It does. Good. All right. Okay, we got Liquid Bronze, Fire Breathing, Dark Embrace, Perfected Strike. I mean, if I'm going for Collector Bonus, three Dark Embrace is just a little too much. So I think I'll skip this one. And then going left, right? That gives me one extra question mark room. All right, we got a Kabika. Your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. And here I might as well upgrade the... Uh, Feel No Pain is useful at the beginning and then becomes less useful. Let's upgrade the uh, Metal Size. Hmm. All right, Giant Head. Well, at least here it'll be an easy counter if I can play more than 20 cards, although I'm not sure if that's very likely. Let's do Dark Embrace, Metal Size, and Flame. And then because I have played... Well, let's do Warcry. I am going to try to see if I can play the Clash here. That will deal a good amount of damage. Um, unfortunately... Oh, no, I can, right? If I do Inflame, Rage, and then Clash. 40... Not 3? 45? Yeah, that's not too bad. Hmm. All right. Uh, dual wield, probably... Well, let me see what the Intimidate gives me. But I'll probably deal with the Clash rather than the Metal Size. Yeah, let's dual wield the Clash... Then do metallicize and then clash one, two, and three. And I'll headbutt probably the clash back. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's do rage, war cry. Second wind and flex are good. Let's do flex and then inflame. Second wind, and I can do a clash and headbutt. And again, I'll put the uh, upgraded clash back. All right. I am. I was hoping I could play a lot of cards, but I am not playing that many cards. I thought I would play more. Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, Intimidate. And then Metallicize, Sentinel, and Clash again. Yeah, it's only six cards. I don't think I played more than ten. Maybe early on, but definitely not now. So I think I'll True Grit the Headbutt, one of the Headbutts at least. And then I will again Dual Wield the Clash. Get rid of the Sentinel, and then I should be able to be fully defended, as well as be able to dish out a lot of damage. Okay. 35, let's play these. Ooh. This might be a problem. So with Orokalkama, obviously I, I cannot fully defend. I also cannot kill. Uh, although, admittedly, I'm very close. Actually, I think if I just Liquid Memories, the uh, one of the Clashes back... Oh, right, I can do two cards, but yeah, one is enough. All right, was able to perfect this one thanks to your potions. We got Champion Belt. One of you apply Vulnerable, also apply one weak. So it's a Liquid Potion and none of these, even though Body Slam is tempting, but not for this deck, I think. All right, the Maw. Let's do... Let me do Warcraft first in case it gives me a dual wield. It did not. So let's do Flex, Metallicize, Rage, and Flame. And then Clash. I realize now that, like, throughout this whole run... I haven't seen a single card that allows me to draw more cards. Admittedly, Battlefields were there, but I don't think that would have been the answer. And also, none of the relics that allow me, uh, well, somehow organize more card draw. This has been, uh, I have to admit, a little disappointing. Because, I, you know, with a tiny amount of card draw, I could have built an infinite. Because I have the energy generation, I have a lot of zero-cost cards. And, I, well, I have some card draw with the Dark Embrace, but not quite enough. Hmm. 28. Uh, let's do Feel No Pain, Intimidate. Do I want to Dark Embrace first? Uh, no, let me do Warcry first. Um, I could Dual Wield. I don't really want to Dual Wield in Flame. Let's do Intimidate. I think I'll do Dark Embrace. Actually, yeah, let me do Second Wind. Okay, let's see what I draw. Also gain a, a bunch of blocks. That way I don't have to worry about being defended. And then Metallus has Headbutt. All right. And here, let me True Grid, uh, one of the Rages, then a Rage War Crime. Alright, and then I'll play the second uh, 
I can win and then do this and get the clash back. Okay. I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Alright, did take a little bit of damage there, but I think it should be fine. We've got a Blessing of the Fortress. I don't think I'll need another duel with this too much. I think I'll have to skip this. Okay, remove a card from your deck. Yeah, yeah, I probably should remove. I'm not sure if I need two Dark Embraces. Clearly, I'm not going for a Collect Bonus. Let's stick with one. Right? There's something else I don't need. Sentinel can be useful. Yeah, let's just do one Dark Embrace. Okay. And then last shop here. Uh, I can... Wait, I have 22 Relics. So if I buy all three Relics, which I can't afford, I'll be able to get the Overkill modifier. Or the uh, I Like Shiny modifier. Also, I have three Metallicizes. So let's get a fourth one. And I can afford all of that. Let's start with the Magic Flower. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Lantern, Stage Combat with additional energy. And Sling of Courage, Stage Elite Combat with two Strength. And then, yeah, let's take the Metallicize. Okay, that was not a bad shop. Wait, was that the only collector bonus I got though? No, I got a collector bonus on headbutt and metallicize. Okay, I got close to have I just need one more war crime, one more flame. And really to make this deck work, I need more card draw, but fine. I'm not gonna complain too much. Alright, so another rage upgrade. No, let's upgrade another metallicize. Okay. So as long as, as, long as I don't give the time to too much strength, I think with all my metallicize I should be able to fully defend. Um all right, not the best start here. I could do second wind. Well, I feel like I have to do second wind. I would like to do inflame. Is one second wind enough? Yes, yes, it is. So let's do inflame, second wind, and then headbutt. I'll put the second wind back. All right, uh, let me drink this. Yep, come. Okay. I have to be very careful with what I play because of the uh, extra strength, and I'm already past the hour mark, so that's fine. Um, let's do Metallicize and Flame. I don't think I'll do the Clash here. I think I'll wait. Come. Okay. 24. Um, what to do here? What to do? I do have some good potions, but let me first think. Uh, let's do Feel No Pain, Intimidate. Is it down to 18. Then Sentinel. So now it's, I have 18 exactly. And there's no reason to do the Clash, right? It only deals 1 HP damage. Okay. Hmm. Another 15. To be a little careful with what I dual wield here. Let me try one War Cry. Okay. Metallicize is good. I am inclined to dual wield the, Metall the, the Metallicize and then play two of them. Hang on, so I'll be attacked. Okay, so this was, uh, how much was it? Incoming, eight times three. With extra strength, it'll be 10 times three. With weakness, it goes down to seven times three, so that's 21. If I play two more metal sizes, I'll have 12 plus five is 17 plus three is 20. So I'm one short. Is there something else I can do? I think I might have to just do a regular defensive card. Right? Warcry is not gonna be enough. Yeah, well, let me see what the Warcry gives. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. All right, so unfortunately, now I only have 10, 15. So I do need to bring back uh, something like the Sentinel. Oh, I can do two cards. Well, it doesn't matter which ones. Uh, I miscalculated. I only need 18. So I could have done the Metallicizes. How did I miscalculate that? It, he must have not been attacking by 8 times 3. It must have been something else. Yeah, I, it must have been 7 times 3. I miscalculated those. A little embarrassing, I have to admit. All right. Um, so I think it makes sense to do the Distill Chaos here. It's not going to play anything that I don't want. I hoped it didn't play anything I didn't want. All right. So now I have 21 block plus the Oracalcum, right? That should be plenty. So let's do Flex. Um, True Grid, one of the Rages. I don't think I need both. And then, let's see what the Warcry gives me. Okay, I probably don't need to uh, deal with the Headbutt. I will still play the Headbutt. Um, and get a Clash back, okay? Hmm. Alright, 27. So, 21 plus 6. Um, I can do a Metallicize. It'll be 33 if I play two more cards. And I have 31 with the Oracalcum. That is not enough. So I think instead if I do second wind, that'll be 25 plus 8. 
which is 33. Okay, yeah, then let's do second wind and I can do clash. Nope, another metallicis. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Alright, I have 24 um, plated, not plated armor, what is it? 24 metallicis, right? Another 33 with Orkakum, I'm fully defended, right? Yeah, let's do inflame clash. And then, uh, should I headbutt more clashes? Sure. Oh, wait, will he? No, he won't transform yet. He'll transform next turn, right? Or, no, was it equal to or less than? Uh, I guess I'll find out. It is less than. All right, so he's transforming. Okay, uh, does it make sense to play any attacks? Not really. I think I'll wait. What left? What is left in my deck? A bunch of headbutts, dual wield, rage, flex. Let me true grid one of the headbutts because I don't need that many. I feel like I might as well attack him, sure. Let's do second wind and then clash one, clash two. I don't have any, po uh, any not poison, any potions though. And um, need to defend against 30, but I am fully defended against that. So I don't even think I'll do anything here. Yeah, that's what happens when you have so much. I mean, I have 35 block without doing anything. That's really cool. 33. Um, if I play two more attacks or three more attacks, that'll be uh, 13, 39. That I will have trouble defending against though. So I need to wait for a rage. I'll do one clash. Okay. Hmm. Could also just wait and have my thorns deal the damage, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, should I do that? Wait, hang on. If I do true grit, uh, so I said 39, this would be 29 plus 10. That would be 39, so I could just get rid of another headbutt. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's true grit. Uh, hang on. How do, what do I want to do here? Do I want to get rid of the duel? Yeah, let's true grit the headbutt. And then play the second wind to get rid of the... Well, I guess both flex and duel wind. That's fine. Problem is now I'm not guaranteed to be defended every turn. So now the strategy of just waiting for the thorns to deal enough damage is not going to work. No, it's still gonna, it's going to work, right? Yeah, with her Kalkman it's going to work. So maybe I'll just true grit the second wind. Yeah, and then I think I should be golden, right? I still will draw the... No, well, sometimes I'll draw the true grit. So let's do... I don't need rage, right? Let's just do clash. Oh, right. I have to play rage, so I can't play clash. Headbutt. And um, another headbutt. Okay. Another 39. Could get rid of another headbutt. I don't need two. All right. Um, now, unfortunately, this true grid is a problem. Yeah, I have to get rid of a clash so I can play another clash. Yeah, that's a bummer. I am fairly close to being able to kill, I feel. Okay. Oh, the true grid. I needed to figure out a way to uh, get rid of the true grid first, and I didn't. Because if I exhaust, I have to rely on the um, head, but that's not enough. Wait, um, I have 29 plus 6 is um, not enough. Not enough, yeah. So I'm... Oh, wait, can I do rage? Wait, wait, wait. If I do... Okay, so 29, uh, rage, no, rage is going to interact or counteract the Oracle Alchemist, so that's not going to help. It's going to only give me 34, so I need to play true grid. Oh, yeah, yeah, true grid the rage. Okay. And then headbutt. And then next turn, the only thing I can do is the headbutt. Oh, actually, the thorn skill. Phew. All right, that was close. Okay, so I... I missed the Act 2 boss, right? That was the only thing I missed. And then, of course, I had to replay. Yeah, 1100. I mean, so let me review this, the deck again. This was more like a fun deck. And honestly, it wasn't that much fun. Really, I just missed any card draw. I do wonder if getting an early um, an early True Grid might have helped. Because there was definitely one offered. I just didn't think of it. Um, but yeah, basically a Burning Pact. Um, maybe I should have taken Offering. I wasn't offered one. But if I had... I mean... I wouldn't have I wouldn't have taken them anyway because of the um, rare cards, but uh, yeah, not not the best score I have to admit. I did get I like shiny popper perfected four out of the seven, uh, yeah seven elites. Although I did have to reload, uh, was it one or two, and then got two collector bonuses and only two perfects. But yeah, this is I think a great example for why uh, sort of thin decks are great for ascension runs, but not good for dailies just from the score perspective. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Warpog got 1487. Okay, so let me think. Uh, theoretically, if I had... Okay, where am I? 
Oof. All right, that's that's a uh, that's a little disappointing. All right, seventy six is not too bad, but yeah, definitely not something too proud of. So if I had perfected the last uh, the second Act Two boss, which I got fairly close to, that would have been twelve hundred, and then I think curses would definitely would have definitely been possible. So that would be thirteen hundred. Uh, I'm just quickly scanning name to see if I'm missing anything. Sorry if I uh, missed yours. So that would be at 1300. And I think the fact that nobody else got that exact score means that very few people went for this weird infinite deck. George got 1331. Um, maybe perfecting, well, playing faster would be 1350. Shaggy here with 1407. So 1350 is right here. And then maybe perfecting uh, three more elites theoretically uh, would have been at 1425, which would be up here. And then Vorpal, in addition to that, was able to get another about 50 points more. So that, that mostly I was just trying to do that exercise to emphasize how impressive Vorpal's score is. So I think perfecting everything, playing faster, doing everything I just said, plus getting overkill and, and uh, combo would have... Or I guess collector bonuses. Yeah, that's the other thing. Because I was so limited in my card choices, I didn't go for collector bonuses. I only had two. Uh, that might have explained it too. Let me know in comments what you did. I feel like sometimes there is an opportunity for to do like an infinite deck like this. Um, and I took it and I honestly somewhat regret it. So uh, no more ex experiments next time. It'll go for traditional, you know, curses, large deck, no clash. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.